What's going on everyone? Kami here. The first game of the day and we're going up against Infernal. I don't know if Indulgence has, I, I've done something to Indulgence to wrong him in some way. Maybe, but we're about to find out. Oh my God, this is so loud. Why do I hear it already? Oh, where's my crosser? I need that. Okay, I got it now. That's a Spitfire Salvo coming in my way. He's gonna expect more. Oh my God. This is funny the whole time looking up. Just gonna, there it goes. All right, we got Infernal down. What an adventure. What an adventure we just had. And guess what? The team just got the point. I'm gonna try to touch it. We touched it. But that's about all we can do there. You know what? I'm proud of myself for not getting Spitfire salvoed against or just salvoed in general by the by Inferno, but I mean that just shows you the power of how much threat Inferno pops out. Do we have any other DPS? We have Mave. Okay, okay, okay. Boop. Oh, that didn't hit. Well, there we go. I was like, that grenade just exploded into a small semi-cluster of grenades and then they just killed me. No, that was a Drogos. So let's see, Drogos is still alive. Might be able to kill myself uh, very easily. Let's see if we can bounce that off the wall. That hit like nobody. And Drogos might come up after me right here. That was a good nade, or a good at reversal. Hopefully we'll be able to, what stunned me? Was that a stun from? Thank you for the heals. That works. Uh, Furia saw me, but I don't think Furia is going to try to not get hit by that. Feisty Jalapeno. He's going to throw a nade. First fire means we're not dealing with shrapnel. That's a thing. And there's Drogos. Hello. Group up. See if we can get an angle on her. Yeah, you better run. <sighs> it's just uh, crazy the amount of ooh, crazy amount of pressure that Inferno puts on us if we're just not ready for for shenanigans. But then if you were you catch her before she makes her first move, then like. You're pretty much Gucci. But it's just hard, man. You gotta get the timing down really well, because if you're spending too much time dealing with Inferno, you're just looking up there, then you're just dying. Like, you're, you're wasting your time, rather. Pop out a spawn, get a little bit of heals. Alright, got him down a decent amount. Oh no, it's gonna go stupid. Man, the amount of times I hit the space bar on accident is unreal. Okay, cool. We don't need to worry about coming out over here. Oh, okay. Woo! 73 life, nothing big. I think the other thing that's gonna happen uh, that'll help me a lot against Inferno is learning where she likes to go, right? So like behind that is a really good place when she's pushing. Um, I'm not sure what she's doing at the very beginning of the map. I, I hear the round. I hear I hear thrusting going on over there. But uh, once you get to just get a general idea of flanking routes that are normally just like, where did they come from to like, I expect them to go this way. Think of it just like an, another route that a person could take, except the person is only a Drogos. Then it becomes a little bit easier. Um, we're looking at a hardcore behaving game. Oh, by the way, I'd like to point out the fact that we have uh, Feisty Jalapeno is not only a really good player, but a new person in the community that's part of Evil Mojo. So that's freaking sweet. Ooh, nice kill by Crow. So shout outs to shout, shout outs to Feisty, the feistiest of jalapenos. I just got scared. <laughs> All right, we have an ultimate. Let's use it. Huh? That sucks. Oh! We fed that a little bit. We can't peek anymore. I've never not ulted this long on Victor. Oh, 
I couldn't cut down, dude. It was like I was like grinding it. I just I did you pull a sweet ollie there, Kami? No, I didn't. I just I grinded that railing for far too long. I couldn't drop down. She just gets me nervous. She gets me scared and nervous, boys. I, I think we'll just save up for Cotterize 3. Sure. That's gonna do some pretty good burst. Alright, now we know that. Gotta run. Ooh, that hurt. Yep, that all hurts. Oh! I see you. We're just running around, dude. Again, the amount of pressure that Saris is putting on us. Not the actual champion Saris, but you know what I'm saying. Might be able to kill... That's a nade coming in. We're gonna try to make the run back. Oh, hug this corner. Whoa, barely missed that. I'm afraid that Drogos will be like right above me. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, if no one knew about Infernal, like me coming up and looking up there, it's like, Kami, where are you looking, bro? And they're in Androx, it's like right here. Let's see if we can get that kill before we go down. Okay, good, 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 good. We push the Androx is pushing in on us. We don't like him. And we got the and we got the uh the, the healer down. The healer's coming back right now, so that's bad news, bears. But we can get Cauterize 3, and then we need to figure out what other items we're going to go. We could go Life Rift. Do we have maxed out? We have 20% Life Steal. Keep in mind that... Is there a person behind me right now? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, good stun. Ah, I martyred on myself, dude. Bro, don't martyr down yourself. Oh, yep, that's a no. I gotta reload. Time out. Enemies on the right flank. Throw that over. I should be dropping here in a second. His uh, movement skill is down, so we're gonna go for the kill on him. And I don't think this will hit, but like, yeah. So I don't think it's ever worth going for the ults, uh, especially when you're going up against a warm jet Drogos. Had to double check that it were in Jeps. Professional. BT dubs. Reloading. I'm really curious about how much longer range the Victor is at a... Like, how much more effective Victor is at a longer range. With burst mode. I know, I know that they are, but like, how much? Get behind this. Get behind me, Mr. Mr. President. Ooh. Oh, the special deliveries. Star Platinum going in for a big play. Oh, got him. All right. Our tank is back, so we can make it back up to the top. Fun times, fun times. Reloading, throwing nades. Suck on that. Kabam! We could go Haven. I think we will go Haven. Could we go Life Rip too? We can. I just don't know how good Life Rip. He's uh, Feisty's also going Jalap or Feisty's also going Jalapenos. Hmm. The Feisty's and the Jalapenos. Looking for someone. Did he get stunned? I don't think he can shoot through bushes. I don't. I don't think that's validly a thing. Woo! -hoo. Woo the more Infernal's playing with us, the more she's got to get used to us expecting her to go her crazy flanking routes. Dashes are down on Androxes. Oh, I was like, I'm hiding behind this wall. No one can see me or find me or shoot me. Uh, I think we're just going to try maxing out Life Rip just to see how it feels. We're going to be getting 20% from the loadout card, and we're going to be getting 30%, so that's 50%, which is actually more like 40%, 40, 42, 45%, somewhere around, or the diminishing returns. Well, I just got wrecked. First mode's pretty good, huh? We got a little bit of extra shots throughout the, um, through the, through the cracks in the stairs, but didn't really help out too much in the end. <laughs> Not yet. 
Gotta reload. Yes, Aruno. Drogos? I'm afraid he's like right here. Oh, found him. What a fun little game we play, huh? What a fun little game we play. Probably right there. Nah. The problem is we also have the Androxes to worry about, so. Oh my goobers! Okay, okay. We're good, kind of. Kind of ish. Thank you. What a what a gentle, gentle pip. Crow 7 trying to do some pushing in the back. Oh come on, it's gotta drop a second. Attack! Yeah, Atlas is pretty much bone now. And yeah, downside of Atlas is he's got great walls of throw up that just blocks everything, and then he's got a great rewind that negates everything you did to him in life. But, uh, okay. Once those are down, he's just dead. You know what I mean? I guess you can say that about any champion, you know? Any champion that's a tank. It's just like, yeah, once they have their mitigating factors down, they're just dead. And it's like, well, no, no, duh, Kami. But still, I feel like Atlas is a lot more obviously. So close. Gotta run. Free heals for our homies. And Drox's dash, I feel like he's over on the left side. Happened to be the Drogos. That works. And we might go for Nimble as our last item. We just need to get ourselves a little bit more credits. We'll take a kill. Yep. Uh, what are we saying here? Inferno can see inside the tower to our left. She can see inside our souls, dude. Got the rewind out. Avoided the draw result, avoided the victor. Not enough. I think we held that for too long. Oh, that's an aid. Aids are bad, McClellan. Oh, you're getting healed like crazy. All right, check. You win. Wow, I should have been looking up. It's so hard to manage between... Oh, we can get too. Cool. It's so hard to manage in between, like, dealing with Inferno and then remembering there's other people and then also remembering that there's... Right here? Where did I just hear the... Hmm, barely hit someone there, but that means we got the cooldown off at least. Really wanted to get him. Really wanted to get Kyria down. Reloading timeout. Oh, we're feeding in Drogs for reversals. That's what we do in life. Drogos is still up. I don't know where that Drogos went. Okay, cool, got him. Over here? Yep, okay. Drogos is still alive. You gotta be pooping me. That was huge. I thought I would get two, or two uh, cooldowns off that, but... This is risky. Yep. I knew that, I knew that was... An Ooh, big pit bolt. Can we do anything about it? No, not enough. And you know what? I don't think we're gonna have enough there. I should have probably repositioned myself because when I was tunnel visioning on the when I was tunnel visioning on the, the Androxus, I knew that was probably gonna end poorly. Big? Gotta keep running. There's a Drogos behind us. Gotta keep moving. Oh, there's a victor. Oh, we almost naded. The nade went off like a second too late. But if the nade would have went off, we would have killed the Atlas and that would have given the pip maybe a split second extra to get onto the point, but could not happen, Cap. That was a good game. That was a very good game. I gotta say that for damn sure. First game of the day. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. We got 108,000 damage. We got a lot of damage, but Feisty Jalapeno coming out with 154,000 damage. They're just better than me. And also, I have to say that there's a lot of it going down where we had to... Oh, hold on. I'll give him the guap. I, I gotta type to... There we go. I'll give him the guap. We also had to deal with looking up a lot with Inferno. Plus, we had a flank that we had to deal with. They had a flank to deal with, too, Maeve. But I feel like Androxus has a little bit more burst opportunities to get in. And Inferno is just Inferno. So what are you going to do? We were spending a lot of time looking up into the skies. At least we get to appreciate the nice clouds and, and weather. But in general, I think that a lot of people will probably agree that burst mode is considered just better talent wise. Like Shrapnel doesn't do enough. Shrapnel used to do enough when it also reduced the cooldown of your frag grenade by a couple of seconds. So I could, you know, probably... Oh, and, uh, also, Grenadier didn't have a cooldown at the very beginning too. But I, I think Shrapnel not only used to re uh, increase your explosion of your radius. Radius of explosion. What They're both the same. 
same, but it also did other things. And I think one of them was reducing the cooldown of your grenade. And it made it like, okay, they're about the same, but now burst mode does too much damage. Uh, increases your, your effectiveness mid to long range while also being better. I don't know what I was going with there. I thought I'd figure out another perk, but I couldn't. So it's just better. Shrapnel's is not good enough, but I still like Shrapnel because I don't like being locked into being three round burst. So even though Shrapnel is probably not as good, maybe specific on maps, but I just don't like burst mode. I just, I've never been a big fan of a burst mode gun. So I think I'm forever going to be middle tier on Victor until there's a rearranging of meta and talents get readjusted or loadouts or something gets readjusted to where burst mode is just not that baller. Before we head out of here, we got a couple of gifts to open. Embryo coming in with a small gift says, you are awesome. Thank you, Embryo with the weird L. I can't do that cool thing the Daddy Mouse did where it zoomed in on the L and then it made it look like it was transparent. And that was cool, man. That was such a small thing, but I wonder how much time that actually took. Maybe just like a masking over the L as it walked or, and then like a tracking on the mask. I don't know, dude. Daddy Mouse, if you're watching, I'll probably just message you anyway and ask you how you did that. I need to look that up. Something a video editor should probably know how to do. But thank you so much, Embryo, for the three team boosters. Last coming in is Chalk Vacuum. You are awesome with a small gift and a cool like uh, chrome s chromatic type of uh, Paladin's logo. Pretty sweet. I dig it. Thank you so much for the three team boosters. On that note, I'm going to head out of here and take a stretch or like just take a breather, dude. That game was a sweaty game. I'm like, whew, I'm feeling it right now. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not going to ask.